Hi there, I'm Sally and today I gave Skylar here her first clicker training lesson. We started off just by making the sound with the clicker and giving her a treat. This is to teach her that good things happen when the click sounds. I did this a few times and after a while I tested her reaction by clicking and seeing if she'd look at me or look hopeful that she was going to get a treat. She started to look like she was getting the idea when she pricked up her ears and licked her lips when the click happened. I tested this a little further by waiting till she was distracted by something else in the room and then clicking to see if she'd turn round to get her treat. When she started doing this quite well, this showed me she was ready to move on to the next stage. At this point I lured her into a sit, so I used the treat in my hand to bring it up and over the back of her head to encourage her to sit down. I had done this before, so I knew that she was going to get into the sit position when I moved my hand like this. I clicked the clicker when her bum touched the floor. The clicker marks the exact behaviour that you're wanting from the dog. The timing of the treat isn't as important. The treat can come a little bit later. The click means to them that's the correct behaviour and your treat's on its way soon. She did get a little distracted at one point, which is absolutely fine. She's only a young puppy still. So I let her wander around as she wanted to and let her come back to training when she wanted to. Over time, she'll soon learn that it's actually more fun to be with me and doing the training than to go off sniffing the rest of the room. At one point she got up after I clicked. This is fine because the click marks the end of the behaviour. It says that was right and your treat is on its way. So it didn't matter that she got up after the click had happened. You can see that most of the time she sits very patiently after the click has happened because she knows that her treat is on its way. Sometimes I'd throw the treats on the floor for her to get. This encourages her to get up to go and get the treat so that when she comes back to me, she can get into the sit again to get her next treat. Once she'd got the hang of this, I started using the hand movement but without a treat in my hand. This teaches them to listen to the commands that you give even when you don't have a treat in your hand and means that you can still instruct your dog for the rest of its life without having to carry treats around with you all the time. After a few repetitions, the hand movement, bringing the hand up slightly, becomes a signal to the dog. Dogs rely more on body language than they do on verbal cues, so having a hand signal to encourage them into a sit is very useful. By this stage we'd done five minutes of training, which is perfect for a puppy of this age. We made sure we left it on a high note and we had a good fuss and a good play and we went and found a toy and had a good game following the training session. We'll continue doing two or three short sessions like this each day and we'll start to add in other movements like lie down or stand or twist and it won't take that many days before she's completely got the hang of the clicker game and looks forward to playing it and enjoys playing it for the rest of her life.